and citizens because there has been over the years broken relationship and trust deficit between the police and the public. And some of the reasons for that trust deficit, some of the reasons are actually beyond the control of the police officers themselves. The poor terms and conditions, the lack of facilitation at the service delivery points, for example, you have an, over 600 police stations without a penny in terms of AIE. You want that OCS to arrest a suspect, it is up to that OCS to feed the suspect and take them to court. You want a, a DCI officer to record a statement, they do not have money even to buy a notepad or a pen. So some of the things we blame the police officers for are actually caused by lack of uh, um, a working environment that is suitable for delivery of services. So I intend also, in line with the Kenya Kwanzaa bottom-up model of delivery of services, to use the police station as the service delivery point and work from there upwards as opposed to relying only on uh, the top commanders in terms of trying to understand the working en environment uh, in which our police officers uh, uh, work. With regard to Nyumbakumi, I am a firm believer that this is a very critical organ within our security architecture. The kind of requests that are have been presented by this cadre are very modest actually, including uh, 500 shillings for two meetings a week, that's a thousand shillings a week, it can even be two meetings a month, and using the budget that is already available, we can cut down on non-core expenditure and make sure we deploy some of the resources to be able to appreciate this very uh, critical cadre, which is at the bottom of the pyramid of our security architecture. With regard to community policing, uh, Honorable Gikaria, I agree that there are a number of organized guns in many of the urban place, uh, urban centers in our country uh, with some form of permanence, organization, and command structure. And therefore, perhaps that's, those are details we need to share uh, so that we can, um, if, if, if there is a consistency, and, and these elements exist in the, uh, the people committing those crimes in Nakuru, we can be able to support uh, you and the people of Nakuru to make sure that we get rid of these people. With regard to the last issue on cattle wrestling, I agree with the Honorable Naisula. The Honorable Naisula speaks on behalf of about 67% of Kenya's territory, the Kenya of the North. The Kenya of the North includes the North Rift, Northeastern, parts of Tana River, and some parts of the coastal strip fall in that category. A territory that is largely facing very serious insecurity. And allow me just to address the issue of banditry in the North Rift. I have been instructed, subject to this approval process, to make sure that we deal with banditry once and for all in the North Rift. Therefore, what am I going to do? I will not be sharing operational issues here, but one of the challenges we have is the lack of operational capability for our officers who are serving in those areas.